Hey everybody, uh, good morning. It's Black History Month 2022. This marks the start of it, this February. Really, we should consider it Black History Year, but that's another story. We have a situation in the NFL where the Giants have made their head coach hire, Brian Dable, he's white. The Broncos made their head coach hire, Nathaniel Hackett. Son of Paul Hackett, he's white. The Bears made their hire, Matt Eberflus, he's white. And the New England Patriots, old offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels, went over to the Bears. Of course, he's white. So, so far, the NFL once again has a track record of firing two black coaches, not hiring anybody new at all. And the ones that were fired had, well, in the case of Dave Culley, one season. And that's not the first time that happened. It happened with Steve Wilkes and the Arizona Cardinals before the current coach, Cliff Kingsbury, was hired to replace him. And so, uh, you got to wonder at what point does more drastic action have to be taken to make the NFL present itself as something more than the modern day example of a slave camp where only blacks only play as players and have a handful of offices, office jobs. 70% of the players in the league are black. There's a lot wrong with that ratio. So, I think we're at the time where Congress has to get involved and start establishing rules because to a degree, the NFL sets the tone for society. And Congress has to make the NFL be aware of its responsibility to present the right face to society and not one that is racist. There are plenty of bright, young black coaches. There are plenty of bright, young black coaches. I'm reemphasizing that because the pattern must be broken and one of you is gonna say, what about Latino or Asian? The league is 70% black players, okay? So to say, oh, well, try an Asian person or a Latino person or a woman for top-level positions rather than someone black does not solve the problem. In fact, arguably, it exacerbates the problem. And it makes a statement that is completely ugly and not true. This has to stop. We have to begin to right our societal ship in the United States. And this is a great place to start. The Rooney Rule clearly isn't working. The Raiders don't seem to pay attention to it at all. Excuse me, the Raiders don't pay attention to it at all. And you have a great coaching candidates out there like Byron Leftwich and Brian Flores, who posted two straight 10-win seasons. Playoff ready and still got fired. Not, not right. Makes no sense whatsoever. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com and have a great day, folks.